Treasury Secretary Mnuchin says he's considering a lending program for the oil industry. What are the details? Yeah, for the oil industry on one, and then also, of course, we had the Treasury out tonight talking about those companies that are close for national security for the United States, that the U.S. would want an equity stake in those. Let's start with the oil industry because it's been a wild week for the oil price, and this is really being seen in uh, oil companies and the industry in shale. So what they're looking at, and this is Steve Mnuchin talking to our Bloomberg News colleagues, is a lending program for U.S. oil companies. And one person familiar with the matter said it could be run out of the Federal Reserve. They're considering taking financial stakes in exchange for some loans, and some firms might be asked to reduce production era. Now, I thought that was very interesting because whether or not they're asked to reduce production, we already seen old, old wells being shut in, stopped, uh, stopped um, dry, dry, uh, drilling on some of these new shell uh, wells. And what that means is that on its own, the U.S. oil industry could end up cutting 20 percent of its production. But we have seen President Trump really want to lend a helping hand to the U.S. oil industry because they are in dire need, what we've seen in the volatility in the price and uh, the issues with supply and demand right now. And then just quickly, Nara, we also heard from the Treasury talking about a stake for companies that are deemed critical to national security. The U.S. wants a stake in those. One that comes to my mind is Boeing. They haven't asked for it yet. But they have results out next week. And people close to the matter said they are poised to cut production of the 737 Dreamliner on top of that also potentially workforce reductions. Anne-Marie, one thing that also moved the market around in terms of equities uh, yesterday, and perhaps you're seeing a little bit of catch-up in that in the Asian session and certainly in some of the uh, currency markets today, is Gilead's best hope for a COVID-19 cure reportedly flopping. Take us through what exactly happened in terms of the release of the report uh, in the way it was released and the fact that it's been disputed. Yeah, a very interesting release. The FT came out with this report yesterday in the afternoon here, but it came accidentally that from a post that the World Health Organization had posted. What this report said is that Gilead's remdesivir, this is the antiviral drug, flopped in this first clinical trial. This Chinese trial showed the drug did not improve patients' condition. It also didn't reduce the pathogen's presence in the bloodstream. That's what this post said. Report on the FT, but now analysts now are really offering a wide range of views on this. Skeptics are saying the results are pretty much close to worst case scenario. Others are saying they should hold up on jumping to conclusions. We need to note Gilead, what they said that this post included inappropriate characterizations of the study and that due to low enrollment, the study results are inconclusive. So there's a lot of controversy about this post and what this potentially means from this from Dizavir. There was so much hope that this drug could be used to treat the coronavirus. And Nara, as you say, put a lot of pressure on equities. The stock ended down more than 4%.